Today we're going to be doing something different. I'm going to be reacting to a Bitter Steel video where he played a disaster save that I made. I watched about a minute of it and I realized that I have to do maybe a bit of a rebuttal <laughs> to defend myself. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I made some mistakes. All right, so I'll show you the map. This is the map here, guys. We currently own this little tiny bit of Yugoslav. Uh, we have an Italian puppet. We've got a British puppet and a little French puppet. Uh, and of course, a little Russian puppet. Romania is also our puppet. Transylvania is a puppet. And I think Hungary is a puppet too. I'm not entirely sure uh, what that looks like. It's been a while actually since I've played this, but yeah. We were doing Iron Man mode because I just wanted to see like what were the conditions for an achievement or a couple achievements, which we didn't do. Before this, honestly, a few months before this, this game, this playthrough was looking very good. I, I know it doesn't seem like it, but we had this line here along the Danube, the AI was cycle charging us. And then at some point, every time they put, they put up their cast and I just wasn't able to contest it and they were able to break my line. We have very good tanks. It was a, uh, I basically played as an access tank miner and um, the whole strategy was to zip around with little tanks and 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 do things so you, there is a lot of flexibility with this so th that's why i was kind of saying like it looks really good like for like a, th a thumbnail and it's still kind of savable i mean it's not i i, I can't imagine it's going to be fun for for big steel but uh yeah it's i think it's possible so that's where we're at yeah okay let's get into it Dave, and this one's not looking too hot for Yugoslavia. Not yeah, looking too not. hot at all. So this one was sent in by fellow content creator Pigeon. Let's Yay. see I know that what's guy. going on, shall we? I already hate it. So <laughs> a little bit of context. Yeah, here we go. He started this out as fascist Yugoslavia, joined yep. the Axis, helped Germany conquer all, and yeah, then they're very turned strong. on them. He also said that's where everything went wrong. He yeah. underestimated the German Air Force just, and just is bit. getting shredded by yeah. Cass. To add on to that, there is a slight problem with his puppet. Yes. He this is actually what made me rage. Like I, I was, again, it wasn't like a serious playthrough or anything, but I got to this point and they were walking through my puppet and there's nothing you can do at this, at this point in Hoi 4. And I was just like, this is dumb. No, I'm done. And I like literally went up F4. <laughs> Leon yeah. Antonescu is playing both sides here. He is our puppet, but he's mm -hmm. giving military access to our enemy, Germany. Is and this? the result of that was that this entire flank here collapsed because somehow Germany got troops into Bulgaria. I don't know. He doesn't really elaborate. Oops, but sorry. the end result is that to <laughs> yeah. add to that, there is uh well, let's, let's just go left to right. So, like, personally, I was just going to leave the UK to die. I, I didn't really care. I don't know if, like, he'll he'll save it or not, but <laughs> I called them in because I was hoping they'd move their air over for a second. That's what I did. <laughs> Let's, I'm like, I just need enough time to get the river line back. <laughs> so, there's a front here in the UK. This is a small UK. They have a fair amount of units. It's not great. And yeah, but the Germans they're pretty have made trash. a landing there. We'll need to deal with this. Yeah. Yeah. Terrible. There is a Yugoslavia in France here. I don't know why you did this. Don't, don't worry yeah, about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. But I can't get them out. Vichy France is unwilling to give us military yeah. access, and I can't do anything to. They're also puppet divisions. Like they're they're not very good. And then we have an Italian puppet. This is probably mm. the main strength we have is that this Italian puppet is providing us with a bunch of military factories and units. Yeah. Either main way, strength. though, yeah, it's not I don't know. Too hot because half. I'm thinking your main strength is the fact that we still have airplanes. Not a lot, but also the tanks. Very good tanks. Very good tanks. That puppet's okay. occupied more yeah. than half. And then there is, of course, the home mm. situation we just touched on. Well, let's take a look at the focus tree. <laughs> so you're going for air production. If yes. your plan is to outproduce Germany, we're past that point. I'm instead going to mod. Uh, if I had the river line still, because I have a lot of resources in Yugoslavia. Like, I didn't obviously touch the focus sensor. I think I would have caught up. Definitely would have caught up with the air. It just would have been like at least another six months. Modernize your air. Air Force and work your way. I, yeah, so I don't have a Mio. I don't have a Mio on the, the design, so down to Icarus. So that's actually a good show. Better this designers, here. couple of extra, yeah, you know, stats. research bonuses. Other than that, most of and the I stuff I'm, is. I think I'm only on Air 2, so I, maybe he'll show it, but. It's yeah. done, so there's nothing great here. Local Malicious is actually. Ooh. Okay. Wait a minute. Let's cancel. I'm going to be honest, I don't think I noticed that. Still modernizing the Air Force. I'm going to grab local. I don't play, I don't play Yugo. 
too often, but this, because yeah, we're pretty desperate for manpower at this, this point. Malicious, we're additional 2% manpower because we're yep. almost mobilized out here. It's, uh, we run service by requirement. 2% so. more to mobilize, well, one and a half. Yes, we're going to grab local militias, then attract foreign not... capital, and then yeah. we'll work our way down to Icarus, get better airplanes. That's Politics. very smart. Service by very requirement. Smart. Yeah. I hate all of this, but I understand why. Yeah, service by requirement we need for the manpower. I would like to be a law down, obviously. Closed economy because I'm not trading with anyone at this point. I went just closed so I can get more of the resources. And then total mobile. Yeah, come on. Why are you not going? I'm at 100% stability. Women in the workforce? Come on. We're good. <laughs> Why it is the way it is. Um, Nothing immediately obvious. Maybe desperate defense. Construction. Yeah. So you're trying to build some bunkers. Yeah, so I need I need the forts. We need the forts right now because I'd, I'd like to replace these tanks or like I was hoping to replace these tanks with infantry and their, their cast damage is so high. Maybe he'll show it, but it's like triple digits. Well, we can get most of yeah. Romania's oil, so oil is not a big deal. We need rubber and this. Yeah, so I did. I did need rubber, but I have a lot of it and most of the rubber is right here. <laughs> so yeah <laughs> this is where your rubber is better steel <laughs> if you just take it back <laughs> gonna be our only source of yeah just counterattack, bro just counterattack. listen if it was easy i wouldn't have sent it to you <laughs> rubber so construction let's build those maybe finish up a couple of these bunkers yeah. and then get the synthetic refiners are very good against the AI rubber production when you're on the okay defensive. so you're going big on anti-air love it Okay, he loves it. Uh, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> that was the reason why there's 25 factories on that. It's because I had no anti air at all. I just had like a little bit maybe in my tank divisions, and then they started casting me, and I'm like, oh, my, this is too early for my air force. This is this is not good. I need it in my infantry right now. But yeah, toad anti air. So this is like obviously a cope. I have, we have a thousand now. That's good. Um, we didn't. We didn't like a couple months ago. <laughs> I just wish it wasn't 1943, and you were making toad anti air one. Let's downside. What's fine? You don't really need a whole lot in terms of like the air, like air stats. So long as you're getting like you're filling out your support company, that's generally enough. The higher your AA stat, like the it's like a diminishing return. So I usually just stick with one. I don't even bother getting two. Two would like it would be better in this situation just because there's so much cast against us. I definitely don't need that many factories on it at this point. And put it elsewhere. Yeah. Tanks, good. Mechanized. Yeah. <laughs> And you can see I actually just switched to the, the advanced, so I have no efficiency on it. <laughs> it's okay. Improved small airframes. Yeah, All right. We're going so mechanized, on and then I think I'm rushing mech too. Airplanes. Now, I do yeah. wonder what you're building. Look, Pigeon, my boy. Yeah. What's up, bud? I know you know this game. Okay, so I'm not a big fan of your fighter design. It. I, I agree. We need we needed Mio. It's all right, but it's very expensive for what it does. I would prefer to just slap three heavy machine guns on here. It might do a little less air attack. Ooh. Yes, but it would be significantly cheaper. So you'd Yeah, I don't know. I think this is a pretty good design for what it is. It is a little late, of course, because I could have the advanced and I could have engine fours pretty soon. Like if I had kind of focused it, but to have more airplanes yeah, resulting know. in more air attack. That said though, you don't have them researched, so we'll have to leave these for now. We'll just yeah. make these. But not not that many. We we don't we definitely need that many. I know you can't make it right now because you don't have resources, but you definitely need that many. I have the rubber for it anyway. You make basic you medium flame tanks. Yeah. Trucks. Yeah. You don't yeah. need two basic medium flame tanks, so I think I might have been converting. Let's just Get rid of those. Stock. Infantry equipment. Yeah. Support equipment. Core. You've gone. Perfect doctrine. Fire. Perfect doctrine. Perfect doctrine for these tanks. 100% perfect doctrine. He's just going to be like, hey, this is the best doctrine. I love it. I love it so much. I love, I love like integrated support because you got all the support companies, extra things. And I love airland battle. It is the best for soft attack tanks. It's so good. Oh, perfect. Thank you. That's what he's going to say. Power, but you've gone airland battle. This one's not that great. This is wonderful if you're able to capitalize on an air superiority, but it's focusing too much on Which hard we attack. Will. So 10% hard attack. 10% hard attack's not really what we were going for. It's attack, the next one. Not great against the AI. Boom, right there. 10% soft attack. Yeah. We also get breakthrough a little bit earlier. Uh, I think breakthrough is way down here, but... Um, soft attack here is great, but the extra hard attack is... Eh, and it's just for we don't tanks need, and armor, we, so we, tactical... Control. Yeah, and, and it is a tank build. Control's fine, and then yep. airline battle. It's not really... This this stat here is so good if you have perfect green air. Oh, so good. That great. Extra stats this on your extra you stats. This helps you shoot down enemy airplanes, sure, and the org is yeah. nice, but I prefer shotgun off with soft attack. Wonderful. More reinforcement rate is like... Yeah, eh, right side is better. Soft if... attack. 
the right side is better if you're going for infantry but like you can see it doesn't really do much for tanks. Your... <sighs> in short like this is all bo bonuses for motorized for artillery the other ones were bonuses for motorized you get plus five uh, percent soft attack total which is good, but I'd much prefer the tank. Shorts, I prefer shock and awe. Airland battle's not terrible. I will probably switch out. I'm also going to yeah. pick up mountain. I mean, it, it, it depends on how you play. Like, uh, what he could do right now is he could break up the tank design, uh, tank, um, the tank templates, because we have like 10 of them. And there's like, I don't know, like there's quite a few. There's like 500 tanks per. So we've got like 5,000. So you could make space. He could break them off and then put, because we also have a bunch of artillery. So you could make like a 7 2 or. Like a, I don't know, like a 6 2 plus a, a, a tank. And you could make Space Marine, which might be a pretty good thing to do. And and then go right side, because then most of your stats then would be coming from the infantry. No Space Marine in sight. You resorted to using your tanks in Mobile Wall. Nice, Fire Brigade. I, I'm telling you, it, I don't know how, if you got to use them much or how you use them, but if you get if you concentrate those tanks, it is so fun. Like you're just going to be like, bloop, 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 bloop. Right? You just run around. Like it's the problem is you're like in mountain tiles right now for the Hugo, but. Like, look, look, north of you is hungry. <laughs> Air Doctrine, Operational Integrity is, best is one for fighters, all for sure. right, I yeah. guess. I'm not really sure which is the best Doctrine, honestly. And then, yeah, so I guess a quick comment on that. I'm, I'm challenging them for the air. So I know that I know that I have an inferior. Um, coming down here, this is your, your better side for your, your fighters. Because you can get down to here really quick. Uh, alternatively, Strategic Destruction is pretty okay. Um, it, it's just that you're, like, the other bonuses are mostly on for your bombing the middle one is if you're if you're a major like germany and you're gonna have cath because this gives you tons and tons of ground support so i would say either side for fighters if you know that you're not going to have a superior air force um and then like do you want to do some bombing maybe or do you want to do some like uh, flexible with like your ground support as well it's not the best ground support bonuses uh, it's kind of like a mix of each but the sides are the better ones for fighters i, I do have a better general uh, I think it's this guy here. So I, I, I if you're going to do any uh, offensive operations, it would be better to pick him. I think, risky. But... I know it's going to become risky um, because at some point the Americans will justify okay. and declare war. Patan's going to join the Axis and I'll have to watch yeah. this flank. Knowing that. I guess this is something you have to look for at this point in the game. I, it's not. It's something I wouldn't even consider. I need to take out Mussolini quickly. I'll use 24 of Italy's divisions along with a selection of our own yeah. forces. These 11 units and we'll try to quickly push south capitulate the italians so this is actually i don't know if you, uh, if you encountered this but this here is a bug or, or was a bug i couldn't I actually had some tank divisions on these tiles and they won't move don't know why here, here's where you, here's where you push right here along this river and you just follow see how this is a, a really good rail line you just follow right there and then they can't attack this flank and then this is all encircled and I can see what options I have push, to man. either push out from this <laughs> right. front near Slovenia or the Ferrich. It's in such a state, sorry, it's in such a state that that's like obviously a joke. <laughs> like you're going to need to like concentrate something. Uh, obviously taking out Italy is a Oops, much smarter from plan. Brindisi or Bari into <laughs> now, speaking of the main front, this yes. is going oh to suck. This yeah. is going to suck horribly because everything is out of position. This mm. is horribly out of position, disorganized, yep. and yep. messy. Got a billion different like, generals. So first, imagine a situation where they're not. It's not Bulgaria, but Bulgaria is closed, and it's just this line and the ports. So much easier. So much easier. If they hadn't pushed through here, I, I was so confident that I could just regroup my tanks, get the infantry gun, and then zip back up. I was like, this is fine. I'll sort it. But yeah, this is hell. I, it's it's to the point where like, I don't know what you're going to do, but like, you, you got to take Bulgaria somehow or like stabilize this line or something um, because you can't go all the way around here now. Like, it's got to be like straight up and down or something. I don't know, maybe to here. I In general. So <clears throat> first off, there's a problem with yeah. Romania. I don't know Namely, how you solve they this. They give this... Bila troops yeah. along the front line here. You attack they... there. We actually lost Belgrade a couple weeks before this and I just took it back. It was like pretty dicey where it was like, I was like at 1% and then I took Belgrade back to give it a little bit of room. And then it was like, then they came through Bulgaria and then I couldn't move my tanks because they have to stand on Belgrade. So we're going to okay. try to secure Belgrade a little. We're going to push back. Gotta, this. Show me the stats. 
Show me the stats of these tanks. They are so good. This like I'm talking easy four digits. Forces falling. You get planning. You can get like two, three these defensive positions. So good stats. I don't know how to describe this other than this is horrible. This is just yeah. utterly and it's completely hor horrible. And the fair I assessment. Hate <laughs> I hate it. I hate yep. it so very much. You have too it's many for forces good content, in Italy. Right? You just have too many divisions in Italy proper. You're gonna get mm. as many of these. Yeah, as many of these as we so, can. The way that it, like it happened is they broke the line like on the river, and it, the army got split, right? And so, like instead of getting encircled, I moved them back and shuffled them. Uh, and also, I wasn't using a whole lot of the Italian units. Like I wasn't actually using them until they they broke the line. So in yeah. general, I'm just gonna try and make a line through the mountains in Podgorica all, right. all the way up here to the river. We're gonna try to push here with our tanks and just sit on this river mm. line until the, the good river. Romanian thick, thick border river. and then try to fill out the uh, Bulgarian front as much as we can. This is an issue. I cannot mm. effectively deal with this. I just can't. I don't know what to do here other than maybe give up Thessaloniki. This is a core, mm. yes, but honestly, what am I getting out of it if it's costing me this much to contest it? I don't I don't know. It looks disgusting. I yeah. realize that, but it's the best I can do, I think. Most important, don't lose Belgrade. We lose Belgrade, we capitulate because yeah. we're already well on our way to losing. Like, I yeah, know, bud. You were so close. We <laughs> it was so much closer. <laughs> Secondly, if we lose Montenegro, we lose access to yeah. all of our tungsten and aluminium, and we won't even yeah. be able to produce what little equipment we still can. So make sure to get into the mountains and dig in and hold. Honestly, I don't think planning is the biggest issue here. It's the cast. He hasn't shown it yet, but the air, like they, they, once they get the numbers and they can fly cast, it's just like triple digits. Best I can hope for. I have way too few divisions at home though. Like yeah. way <laughs> too few divisions. And I really don't like it. Oh, I really, really, really don't like it. Oh, really, really, really don't like it. These British. Div I also wasn't prepared for, like, I didn't have an army set up. Like I didn't have an army for when they declared. Divisions. What are they Dude, doing? We not much. <laughs> that leaves us with the Air Force. They're currently fighting over the Balkans. Yeah, and you it's think, not yeah, that's where you want to be fighting. Maybe. But I'm going to go all in on Italy. Air superiority over Very Italy. Smart. Italy has to die quickly. That frees up so yeah. many divisions and gives us more options. So that's what I'm going to do. Also makes your puppet This guy bigger. could use a little bit of defensive doctrine yeah. or charismatic. <laughs> Division recovery rate is great. Defensive doctrine is nice if the enemy gives you time uh, to yeah. entrench. I'm going to go with yeah. charismatic first. Yeah. Okay, rest of my command power I'm going to save up for last stands. We've got bold attack, which is okay. Yeah, yeah it's good. actually what I prefer. Professional officer core is... Um, I filled up my doctrine, so yeah, you can switch this. Um, good, I might switch out to Planet quick Street's improv just because this gives us very yeah, or, cheap... Or heritage if you're going to get a lot of medals. Last stand memory, and then you got flexible org. I like yeah. flexible... We have fast tanks, fast, high, soft attack tanks. With Mech 2, they're 10 kilometers an hour. Okay, so don't change this. Organization will be using a lot of shuffling around, so this is yes. good. Troops are okay. faster and they lose less organization when moving. Nice. Smoke and fire is good when you start a counterattack, extra break. You don't need the breakthrough, and we're like, if maybe if it was like an artillery based uh, army or something, but yeah, we don't need it. Through like, that not with the tanks, no. It's is nice if you have um, the time to get your entrenchment yeah, and again, up. We, we just don't, don't have the army constantly for it. be under same, attack, so I don't it's not, it's think not it's going to pay off for <laughs> us. We got a navy. It's all yeah. terrible. It's all terrible. Stolen. It's mostly it's all <laughs> stolen ships. <laughs> yeah. Not great. But I'm good. The good thing is like it's I'm I'm, I'm keeping it uh, escorted, so do is reorganize um, so i'm gonna put everything into a big strike force except okay. for a couple of batches of destroyers and we'll use the destroyers so i think the bottom line was actually organized already for aws we don't i, I don't know i'm gonna get the i'm gonna be honest i don't even know what i was researching at this point uh mech 2 part of the strat uh obviously a better plane um yeah. is eventually but not yet i don't actually have need plenty the oil of fuel I think because i have a romanian oil this so this is uh not something i want right now excavation could be That's nice because it gives us more of our limited resources do we have any steel we barely have anything realistic yeah. you can see here we've got like um that stuff here with with research these are higher numbers because we're at like three or four and this is 15. Uh, so you can see where all the rubber is, right? So we got uh, quite a bit of rubber here. And we, we do have the aluminum, if we had the territory. Yeah, so we're behind. I'm going for uh, field hospitals at this point. We'll probably replace the like uh, one of the support companies. And then maintenance companies uh, I need to catch up on. We're behind on.
good. Um, and then I think, uh, and then the shovels too. We need the engineers. Wait, armor. You might want basic armor protection for your tanks to get them Don't really a need bit it. more armor. I we've, think our, we've got plenty of armor. Fine, mechanized. I like mech, but we have other priorities, namely getting those heavy machines. Yeah. Uh, one thing I like to do with the design that we have at this point is get the next cannon. Just rush for it. And we need engine fours. And Oh, sorry. You can't see it. Engine fours and this are very important at this Beam point. guns onto my airplanes. Advanced small yeah. airframes. Very nice to go ahead of time. However, this is useless without the engines also yeah. being there. So let's get the better engine. I, I'm not even Good able call. to produce enough airplanes, honestly. Maybe you let's will go be. on the Just get your territory back, bud. <laughs> Just push. <laughs> AA front first honestly maybe let's go on the aa front first and then improved yeah. oil same thing as with the uh fuel refining we're gonna get it it's fine i probably shouldn't have been researching these this is totally fair that's very fair speaking yeah. of the tanks let's look at your design now that's the flame tank that's probably fine let's upgrade yeah. that a little and uh, your advanced yeah. medium tank chassis so it's okay more than okay excuse me this is the pinnacle of tank design look at how beautiful this is oh my god uh, pr the only comment is uh, maybe I, I go down on radio because I don't actually have that much armor. Maybe I don't need the radio threes. Radio twos is probably fine. Uh, but otherwise, look, 10 kilometers an hour. We've got 64 soft attack. These are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We don't even need this that, that much reliability, but we got it. Hey, it's, it's definitely not terrible. A little low in the armor department, though. It's really cheap. That 37 is fine, or 47 is fine. Love it, yeah. but I'd like to add a little bit more armor to it so it won't be pierced. I mean, we could add the armor for the breakthrough. I don't as think easily, that much. and I know sloped armor is not ideal, but this is not all, yeah. all that more expensive. The thing is, you're not like you're not fighting someone with a lot of piercing, so and has a lot more armor. I think this will make it easier for these tanks to perform. Got improved yeah. howitzers. You've Best got a gun. two man turret. I'm gonna add a three man turret uh... instead. Extra breakthrough. Might want to go up on speed. The whole point of it was the 10k, which we were going to come up onto soon. That is quite a bit more breakthrough. But again, I think the problem is you, you don't really need it at this point. So if anything, we're just adding to the cost. Through speed isn't that big yeah. of a deal. Yeah, I'm going to go with this instead. More armor, slightly less soft attack, but still decent. Soft attack build, what are you doing? Oh. Decent. And later on, we'll switch out to the improved medium cap. Okay, all of that, like, the, the, like, there's fair arguments for the armor stuff and, and the breakthrough. I disagree with the medium cannon. And then we're going to un... <laughs> They're more precious tanks. They were so good. It's like, the, I, was, I was actually kind of hoping you'd praise them a little bit. <laughs> Not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about the medium cannon, because it's just, it, you don't really encounter... Like, where's, where are the German tanks? Germany is the one that has the most tanks. Do you see any tanks on our front? Like, you just don't encounter them. <laughs> downsize yep. to 18 with both two cons that's fair um you, we just don't have like manpower you probably want more units at this point and an extra two width isn't really doing a whole lot especially when you got like one or two on the tile serve manpower and to yeah. conserve equipment plus 18 width is something i prefer either i make them 18 width like this or i add in uh artillery and bring up to 20 um with the new widths if you are if you are getting to the point where you're exceeding the combat width, so if you're having like four or five more divisions per tile, I would stick to the, the 20 because it does come out in terms of like efficiency a little bit better. Personally, I, I don't think the one or the 18 really makes a huge difference. We're talking about like 5% maybe. One, though it's not that so, vital. Besides, I, I think this just looks nicer. <laughs> a nice, nice square. And your fair. armor is yes. all right, but you've gone motorized anti-air. Okay. Just remove that down to... The, the, the motorized anti-air was a, a bit of cope. <laughs> I'll admit. We're stuck at eight kilometers an hour right now because we have the first mech but we would be switching soon. I, I'm going to talk about it before he gets into it. Uh, but yeah, see here? Soft attack, folks. Soft attack. So nice. Oh, um, we've got 500 breakthrough. This is kind of what I was talking about, why I didn't go up on armor. So they just don't really get that piercing that high. So we don't have to worry about it. Occasionally, you'll encounter like one tank that, has, that can pierce you, but it's so rare. So like when you're adding armor in single player, it's, it's adding cost. Um, so if you're going to add armor, I add it. You should add it for the breakthrough, which at 500, you're pretty well good, I think. But other than this, we're, we're going for more speed. I was hoping to get that 10K at some point. We don't have lodges in this. This is actually pretty important. We should, should build lodges. Yeah. I, yeah. It just, it comes to that point where it's like, do you need it? 
the best tanks I, the, that I've ever found that the AI has ever built is a 75 piercing. And that's, it's so rare to see anything above 40. Like you can check the stats. Like anytime, like next time you're in a game and you get to 43, like just take over to Germany and look at what they've got in the field. And, and Germany, USA, Soviets, and the UK are pretty much the only countries that actually build really good tanks. You'll never encounter a good tank from France or from like Spain or something like maybe in like 1949 or something. But like at this point in the game, you'll never see them. The 30 width, this is fine. I um, yeah, filling out the things. Maybe at this point we switch uh, artillery for lodgies. Yeah, I mean, we're fighting in Europe, so we actually are OK with the three supply. Uh, it's just when we get stacked and it gets a little bad. I'm going to remove the maintenance companies while I like them. Okay, what? Um, I don't think we have the luxury to use them right now. Mm. Uh, we're a little bit constrained when it... We only have the 10% reliability bonus and the ca capture ratio of 10%, but we could go up two. And this this actually adds up quite a bit. The way that I play the with tanks is the, the tanks close the encirclements. They make the encirclements and then close them. And you can get a lot of equipment late game with this. So I tend to really like the... Down to 30 uh, width, this is... I mean, we have... We have uh, they're what 25 support company or uh, support equipment and there's nine tanks yeah uh, we're a little bit constrained when it comes to support yeah. equipment and yeah, we have a bit of a support equipment issue so i'm gonna mm. remove those and downsize the divisions a little bit this is fine though it's got good org it's got good I... stats it should you hold raise my precious takes well. they're so right, good we'll start. And i'm gonna use a little bit of cheese here i'm gonna assign these two divisions to that small army and then i'm gonna unassign everything except those two divisions from from that small army i know it's super cheesy so then i do uh this and that leaves these two units here as the only units under this general what i then do yeah. is click okay. last stand for a yeah. really really cheap there's a really Having quick way that, to do this i take these grabbing the two units and just throwing them on a new general and then hitting last stand uh usually the way that i do it it's quicker because you can actually do it live without like pausing this is a little bit uh, dangerous if you're like messing with lines uh, live without but if you're paused in single player obviously it's kind of safe but let's assign them back to that order they get the symbol um, for last stand yeah i think you're gonna say but they don't they actually don't, get the effect yeah, so that's that's sense. unfortunate but these guys will retain the last stand order even if i now assign them back to their original leaders yeah. so they They're are getting still deleted. last standing i'm deleted. buying a very very <laughs> precious time and we have secured the river position okay just gonna quickly show, show redraw the front lines <laughs> so they make a little more sense like so okay one more nuisance i want to deal with is you can see germany mm. constantly shuffling troops through there i'm going to go back and request those romanian forces so i know what they're gonna oh, do six. which is nothing useful what i can do though is like set them up over here i have yeah. only six so if they deploy a seventh i'll put one there that's kind of what i was trying to do at the beginning as well um, and what that's going to do is the germans are then going to walk into those units whenever they wander about romania and they're going to be wandering in romania usually under strength or at least doing strategic redeployment stuff like most of your ic strength or most of the ic strength are right here and these divisions so having them stand here is like not super efficient but i know that you can't lose belgrade so yeah like getting these off and on their own general and then pushing this way would be very, very... I know really, you're still in the really defense. One but... of you, so I have to create two separate fallback lines. And just as I'm adjusting yeah, that... Just, oh, switch it cancels do. the orders the units have. This happens to everyone all the time. Like, you, you change something on the order, and it's just like, hey, you're almost in that tile. And there's like, no, we're going to restart. It's like, what? Why? <laughs> the armor is just very valuable. I'm going to try and yeah. take Napoli, finish the... Like, look at this. Okay, I just need to show you guys this. This is one tank division, okay? One tank division, four infantry. It is pushing into this, and the Italians have shore bombardment. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, okay? <laughs> They're so good. <laughs> like, and look, look at how far you are. You're do do do. You have a tank division here. You have nothing here. A tank division here. Like when you click, they're like click 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 click. Like fast tanks, good stats. Oh, chef's kiss. Circled units in the center and then keep driving south. We keep losing in the UK, though. Yeah, the air is yeah, not to our advantage. I can't We're losing the air war every... I, I don't think you're going to hold UK. If you hold, if you held UK by the end of this, th that's a miracle. Is there anything... Uh, if Bitter Steel, if you're still here, is there anything that you wanted me to, to look at specifically? Uh, the pincer remover was good. I don't know how much planning you've got. 
Uh, not pierced, 900 base stats. Good stats. Okay, uh, let's look at 929. Nine, uh, so this is this is what the build was for. This is totally what the build is for. I can see you've got some tanks concentrated, and I, I assume you're probably going to zip up this line or zip up here. Um, maybe up this river first and then ta attack into here because there's going to be forts on, on this tile, but... Do this yeah. tile next to Belgrade, the same. And if you're building up planning. And you got, yeah, you got the other side. Okay, this is the pincer movement. Tanks, and we're going to try yes. to meet around here. I'm going to... I haven't seen this, but I th I know exactly how this is going to go. It's just going to go... Duh, 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 duh. <laughs> like, it's going to be just cutting through like butter try and push along that river cut off the balkan yeah, section okay. of the german front uh, this they is good. shouldn't be able this to good. get anything in via sea i can put my subs out to ensure that and we're going to try yeah, okay. and crush yeah. that meanwhile american troops are arriving and my front is getting bolstered so i feel up to it this may well bite me in the ass after but i think we're up to You're it good. uh soon but these guys out on convoy rating as well convoy rating that c zone engage okay at high risk and we're just gonna go for it right, watch this it is i already know how it's risky. gonna go yeah yeah just don't make the orders go all the way risky, but i have to try something otherwise Not we risky. fail anyway this Look. feels Dude. like breakthrough potential <laughs> maybe go 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 come on, you're come on, outrunning come on. infantry come on. <laughs> like come on. of course come on do it do it do it yes. do it yes oh i've linked up okay now well done. i'm gonna use these here to try yeah. and drive yeah and i think this was our tank guy that, that I was talking about. So the Germans you found into the water. I yeah, know perfect. that's not optimal. All right. I'm going to leave it there, guys. If you want to watch the, uh, how this ends or you want to watch the, the other bits that we've cut out of this video, uh, check out Bittersteel's video that I've linked right here.